You might not realize it, but the biggest obstacle in your path to spiritual enlightenment is you. The old you discover how the only thing standing between you and your higher self could be the person you used to be to truly overcome the challenges that hinder your spiritual growth. It's essential to confront the version of yourself that refuses to evolve this former self clinging to outdated habits and thought patterns. Shadows your every move becoming a barrier to your progress by recognizing this. Struggle you embark on a profound journey of personal transformation not merely altering behaviors, but engaging in a battle with an obsolete version of yourself that no longer serves your higher purposes. This ongoing conflict between who you were and who you aspire to become fuels a continuous internal battle, pivotal for your spiritual development. Your old self with its comfort and restrictions frequently pulls you back, just as you strive to leave forward. These aren't just minor setbacks, they are deeply entrenched behaviors that challenge every step toward change understanding that you crafted. This earlier version of yourself is vital for your liberation. With this awareness, you can start distancing from your past patterns and stride toward the life you truly desire. This transformation demands more than mere tweaks. It requires a radical metamorphosis underpinned by dedication, deep understanding, and a commitment to spiritual growth to fully absorb this knowledge. One must engage in spiritual studies with earnestness and diligence. It involves more than just grasping a single principle. It is about mastering the laws that dictate the cosmos and continually realigning oneself with the universal mind. Your mind shapes reality. The principle that our reality is shaped by deeply ingrained beliefs in our psyche is crucial. The adage as within, so without on earth as it is in heaven, illustrates this underscoring that our inner vibrations must be set before they can manifest externally. This insight compels us to probe deeper into our consciousness, Exploring and synchronizing our innermost thoughts with our outward existence, our main objective, Shu, don't be to chase after temporary or superficial solutions. Rather, we should focus on fundamentally transforming the way we think, as this leads to real and lasting changes in our everyday experiences. This highlights an important point. Any spirituality that doesn't actually transform our reality is in essence empty understanding that the universe fundamentally operates on a mental level is essential. Everything starts with an idea or a mental picture that's infused with energy. This process of creation referred to as thought forms involves more the and just casual daydreaming it involves intense concentration and emotional investment. It's a profound and sacred practice that requires both deep understanding and respect. The notion that our thoughts can directly influence our reality is often overstated and misunderstood typically by those who don't fully comprehend it themselves. They pass on this incomplete knowledge, perpetuating misunderstandings in contrast. True understanding emerges from deep study and contemplation, backed by extensive research and practical experience that infa form the leaders in various fields emotions intensify the vibrational power of our thoughts enabling them to mold our reality this understanding prompts a significant shift in focus towards our inner states the art of manifestation is really about this internal transformation freeing us from dependency on external conditions to maintain equilibrium Mastering manifestation means achieving a state of balance where the outcome of our desires doesn't sway our comp osier in this state. Limitless possibilities are unleashed. Picture thought forms. As the seeds of existence, regular focused thoughts accumulate to form a clear identity, much like how water droplets merge to make a lake over time. These thought forms, when consistently nurtured within the same mental framework, give rise to a specific version of ourselves, one that reflects old habits and outdated ways of thinking. This version forged from our collective thoughts is the old self that we strive to transcend. Consider every thought as a pebble. Each time you entertain the same thought, you add another pebble to the pile as these accumulate. Ah, they can build into a mountain representing the substantial effect of continuous thought patterns on a grander scale. 
These collective thoughts form what mystical traditions refer to as egregore, or watchers, as mentioned in ancient texts like the Book of Enoch. These egregore are powerful collective entities sustained and shaped by the shared consciousness of a group. You're encouraged to actively participate in shaping your own reality by attentively managing your thoughts and emotions. Recognize the significant impact your internal world has, uh, and the external environment and accept the responsibility that accompanies this influence. Exploring spiritual texts like the Book of Enoch, the Nogama Scriptures, and the Apocrypha, involves a holistic approach to understanding spirituality. Consider the profound insights found in Luke 17.21 in the Gospel of Thomas, which suggests that the kingdom of heaven is within you, and also the kingdom of heaven is inside and outside of you. These teachings highlight the essential truth about the divine essence that exists within us and extends into our environment. Our reality is molded by our thoughts and consciousness. Serving as the foundation of our existence, the world we perceive is effectively a manifestation of our collective dreams and visions where imagination extends beyond mere fantasy to form the core of all reality. The continuous cycle of our thoughts and feelings forges a distinct consciousness that mirrors our internal condition. This consciousness, sculpted by our thought patterns, functions with impartial intelligence it is not inherently negative but operates as a neutral force generated by our co Genitive and emotional patterns it persists because it aims to maintain the familiar environment in which it originated. These mental constructs resemble doppelgangers reflecting our varied emotional states. They exist in a parallel dimension crafted by us prompting us to recognize the profound impact our internal world has on our spiritual path. By controlling our thoughts and emotions, we can transform these shadows into guiding lights that lead us to higher spiritual realms in unseen worlds, where thoughts take form and energies converge. We each generate a spiritual counterpart through our habitual mental. Activities this counterpart shaped by our persistent emotions and thoughts mirrors the frequencies of our experiences with adversity and lack acknowledging. The importance of this phenomenon is crucial. It arises from our enduring mental states and strives to sustain itself at any cost. Unfortunately, this cost can impede your spiritual development as this entity once brought to life is relentless in its quest to exist often at a significant expense to its creator. We all possess such a doppelganger, a spectral entity formed by the energies we have. Released over time, this being is not merely a shadow, but a forceful presence born from the momentum of our past thoughts and emotions. Once these entities are established, they are not easily dissipated. They persist, sometimes threatening the very existence of their creator. The relationship between our mental creations and our spiritual advancement is complex and ongoing. As we navigate through life, these entities evolve, mirroring our internal changes. Their enduring presence underscores the powerful influence of our emotional and mental states, urging us to maintain a positive, constructive internal dialogue. This continual interaction not only fosters our personal development, but also defines the nature of our reality. Embarking on a journey to truly master and navigate the complexities of your inner self requires a deep dive into parts of your personality that may feel outdated or no longer relevant. These traits, often shrewd and persistent, seem to preempt your every move, especially during periods of heightened sensitivity or when life's chally on Jess Mount. You might notice these moments when you find yourself questioning why me or feeling particularly frustrated. Such instances are telltale signs that you've not yet fully embraced the presence of this alternate self within your psyche. By fully understanding this dynamic, you unlock the potential to not only reshape your thought patterns, but also to fundamentally alter the impact these thoughts have on your life. This insight does more than mark an accomplishment. It opens the door to greater self-awareness and spiritual liberation. Imagine L. Life as a grand cosmic battlefield where every person is involved in a deep metaphysical struggle that resembles a complex game of chess. 
This battle is not merely about overcoming external adversaries, but involves a profound journey of conquering oneself. The true challenge lies not in overt conflicts, but in mastering the nuances of your spirit and thought processes to ascend to a heightened state of existence. You must first overcome the lower frequencies that bind you to outdated perceptions of reality. Mastering these frequencies enables you to craft the existence you earnestly seek. Remember, the universe operates on vibration levels, and to alter your life circumstances, you need to ensure your internal vibrations match these higher frequencies. Consider the process of personal growth and manifestation. Genuine manifestation relies on an internal transformation to a state where external validation becomes unnecessary to perceive changes in your life as you navigate through life's obstacles. It's important to recognize that it's the subtle internal triumphs over previous limitations that carve your future not merely the conspicuous successes. Each step forward in this metaphysical journey brings you closer to unleashing your full potential and materializing the life you imagine approach this path with patience and determination. For true transformation is achieved through mastering these internal shifts. It's essential to understand the role of your former self, a manifestation rooted in dependency. This part of you continuously demands your attention, embodying a profound sense of longing and need. This persistent pull is not just a sly. To annoyance, it poses a substantial spiritual hurdle. It seeks to monopolize your focus because it recognizes a fundamental truth. Where your attention goes, energy flows. Consider your focus as the concentration of your energy potent enough to catalyze significant change, much like how sunlight can be focused through a magnifying glass to ignite a fire. Your, your focus can spark substantial transformations at a metaphysical level. Thus, your old self strives to attract this focus, knowing well that such concentration can revert you to low. Or states of being realizing that your focus is more than a casual glance. It's a deliberate investment is crucial. What captures your attention does more than just receive it, it thrives on it. Each moment you focus plants a seed in the gardens of your existence. Many people scatter their focus, focus without thought, casting it on barren grounds leading to futile outcomes. You are urged to direct your focus wisely, channeling it toward visions that align with your highest truths and the realities you aspire to create as we journey along the path of spiritual enlightenment every moment that demands our focus poses an essential decision should we engage or transcend life. Continually asks us to choose where to place our energies on transient distray actions or enduring truths. Each choice we make weaves into the fabric of our destiny, either as repetitive patterns or as gateways to liberation. It's vital to consider carefully what we allow into our lives as these elements profoundly shape our present and future experiences for those seeking deeper understanding. Mastering the art of selective engagement, a.k. into strategic ignoring is key. This isn't about passivity but an active choice to rise above energies that no longer serve us when situations arise that provoke irritation. It's crucial to see beyond the emotion to the constraints it attempts to impose. Perpetuating a cycle of reactions that tether us to lower states of existence being vigilant is the first step towards transformation, necessitating an awareness of how negative energies seek to distract and disturb our peace. These events are not mere happenstances, but signals that it's tie me to ascend and take charge of our spiritual journey. Consider your focus as a valuable investment in your higher self. Squandering this resource on trivialities not only hinders your spiritual progress, but also shapes the energy that solidifies into your lived experience. Use your attention wisely, guiding it towards activities that align with your ultimate goals, and help sculpt the reality you desire. Embrace each mindful step forward as a move towards crafting the life you dream of. Let this consciousness motivate you continuously, not just as a goal.
to be reached but as a perpetual reminder of your power to influence both the spiritual and material worlds. Often energies entangled with frustration can anchor us to outdated cycles, presenting challenges that feel insurmountable. However, these moments aren't merely obstacles. They're calls to awaken to the deeper realities of our existence to free ourselves. We must recognize and confront these energies with, with fresh insights, daily diversions, while seemingly enjoyable, ultimately steer us away from our spiritual paths, echoing the deeper call to reconnect. With our inner spiritual essence, it's vital to recognize that sacred elements are often undervalued, especially from afar, urging us to honor and appreciate cultural traditions, regardless of their origin. This journey towards enlightenment demands a personal commitment to shut out distractions and genuinely connect with oneself, often requiring the establishment of a personal sanctuary to shield one's potential from external chaos, past negative experiences shaped by our darkest moments, persistently influence our present feeding on current che. Lenges to maintain their existence. Recognizing these patterns as part of a natural cycle is essential for effective management and personal growth. Many endure hardships like poverty and instability from the start, challenges that test our resilience and push us to evolve as these past energies build up. They resonate with former difficulties trapping us in cycles of emotional reactions that perpetuate old habits. Breaking free from these cycles is crucial to regain control over our spiritual journey. Each obstacle presents not just a challenge but an opportunity to deepen our connection with our higher selves and use adversity as a catalyst for growth. Demonstrating our inherent resilience and ability to transcend profound difficulties throughout our journey, we encounter various challenges that test our spirit and resolve these hurdles manifest as negative experiences, frustrations, tiredness, sadness that try to tether us to lower states of being. Seeing these as deliberate tests helps us stay connected to overcoming past limitations, recognizing the need to surmount these challenges. S is crucial true transformation begins with mastering oneself, which lays the groundwork for mastering the broader realities around us. Transformation involves not just facing our inner demons, but actively engaging with and elevating our consciousness by understanding the origins and motives behind our struggles. We free ourselves and ascend to elevated states of being. There are times when it might seem as though everything in the universe is aligned against you, intentionally provoking you to elicit the deepest, most negative emotions. It is crucial, however, to see these moments for what they truly are calculated attempts by lingering outdated energies to ensnare your emotions. These aren't mere coincidences. They are intentional obstacles designed to drag you back into former hardships. View these challenges as opportunities to sever old bonds and ascend to a higher vibrational state where minor irritations no longer disrupt your spiritual journey. The guidance provided here transcends the common approaches touted by the self-help industry. True transformation doesn't come from thought, as in journals creating vision boards or chanting daily affirmations. It comes from profound internal shifts, changes made within the depths of your mind and spirit, completely independent of the physical world. When confrontations arise that threaten to disrupt your serenity, perceive them simply as tests designed to elevate your emotional response. Be mindful that the environment around you morphs to reflect your inner tranquility instead of reacting to... The superficial symptoms focus on addressing the fundamental issues rooted within you. There's no need to search for further instructions on your next steps. Immerse yourself in this wisdom for clear mental strategies that foster authentic transformation. These teachings respected even among those who have achieved great success are offered here freely reflect on these concepts thoroughly and allow them to deeply influence your thinking. Refrain from requesting roles that aren't yours to assume, such as a attempting to serve as my editor. These positions are occupied by individuals you haven't met yet. It's important to recognize that in our Joe, Ernie, whether we lead or support, we don't get to arbitrarily choose our roles. 
Think of our interaction as similar to the dynamic between a teacher and a student, where every role is vital with none being more important than another. This serves as a reminder that every role, no matter how seemingly small, contributes to our shared spiritual advancement. Often your, for former self, might have been tuned to a reactive frequency, a trait common to many. This is when people let external circumstances dictate their internal outlook. A manifestation of a low, air consciousness that depends on what is seen, rather than what is understood, insight. However offers a more lucid perception of a higher reality that transcends conventional notions of space-time and conflict. In these elevated realms, time is not restrictive, but fluid, enhancing the richness of our existence in the ordinary day-to-day. The person you once were often reacted quickly to situations a trait commonly observed in people everywhere. This tendency is frequently misunderstood and oversimplified through well-worn clichés and stereotypes. However, our shared human experiences forge a collective consciousness that binds us together, cutting across individual and cultural divides. It's crucial to realize that you have an inherent capacity to make maintain your composure amidst the constant flux of life's illusions. This tranquility isn't merely about being passive, it's a dynamic aspect of a more evolved state of existence that goes beyond superficial appearances to connect with a deeper, more insightful understanding of reality. Life will challenge this tranquility in various ways, whether through personal confrontations or Unforeseen expenses all designed to provoke a reaction by mastering your emotions, you gain control over the external circumstances that influence your mood to truly take charge of your reality. It begins with mastering your thoughts and emotions. If you struggle to control your reactions, how can you expect to influence the broader universe? This insight is crucial as you pursue your spiritual journey. Often our reactions are rooted in primal survival instincts similar to how animals react in nature. Consider how a deer instinctively flees from danger, a necessary response for survival that also stifles higher reasoning. Your spiritual journey invites you to rise above these basic instinctual responses when faced with challenges or provocations. Cultivating patience and reflective thinking is not merely advisable, it's essential. Developing this spiritual discipline ensures that you're not swayed by external pressures, but are in command of your destiny, consciously shaping your path forward. Each time you choose to pause instead of reacting impulsive, Eli, you make a pivotal decision in mastering yourself, which in turn dramatically alters your engagement with the world around you. The notion that we can achieve perfection on our spiritual path is a misconception. We're often drawn to Tales of individuals who appear to have supernatural powers, such as levitation or telekinesis. However, these impressive feats are usually not what they seem often. They are the result of tricks like strategically placed magnets or manipulated airflows designed to dazzle and deceive. While these spectacles can be captivating, they actually divert us from the real journey towards spiritual enlightenment. Your true potential transcends these gimmicks. Take the lion, for example, a symbol of strength and resilience in the wild. When a deer senses danger, its rational thinking is clouded by sheer survival. Instinct reflecting a reaction from a less evolved state of consciousness, in a similar way when you operate from a lower state of awareness, outdated fears and past traumas can cloud your present perceptions and hinder your growth. Understanding the significant See of the insights I share is crucial during moments of quiet, such as while watching a video or unwinding your brain, can slip into a theta state. This frequency is particularly receptive to new information, facilitating learning and impressionability. In these moments, new ideas can seamlessly weave into your subconscious planting seeds for deep realization and transformative actions. This newfound understanding should feel like an empowering invitation rather than a restrictive rule. It prompts you to delve deeper into your own consciousness, turning passi. V experiences into opportunities for active, spiritual awakening. As you absorb my words and let the sound of my voice guide you, 
It's similar to the subtle hypnosis experienced while enjoying music, watching films, or listening to speeches. Being mindful of this influence is important, as it subtly molds your perception, even during casual moments of relaxation. Examining someone's clothing can offer insights into societal norms and personal consciousness. The variety in what I wear from one video to another showcases a spectrum of expression cell. Braiding diversity over uniformity, the focus should be on the evolution of personal style rather than the consistency of outfits moving beyond old vibrational states paves the way for profound spiritual growth, enabling a departure from previous limitations towards true enlightenment. If the messages resonate with you, your engagement is not just appreciated, it's considered a sacred exchange in this space. Age doesn't matter. The wisdom imparted transcends generational and cultural boundaries. Living is more than mere existence. It is an art form where you take control of your inner world. This mastery, which I have studied intensively for over five years, is not just a practice, but a form of, of spiritual science without mastering your inner self. Spirituality remains superficial. True life begins when you can navigate and transform your inner being unlocking the power to shape your reality. In mastering these skills lies the true essence of life, a journey towards living fully and consciously. The deepest fears you encounter often reflect an intense desire to escape the confines of your former life. This fear, oh, originates not just from a vague apprehend, attention, but from a profound yearning to transcend the old versions of yourself. These past identities are not merely shadows lurking in the background. They are complex constructs shaped by every triumph and setback you have experienced. Standing at the threshold of a new phase in life, you might feel that these old aspects of your personality are fighting for survival, sensing their looming dissolution as you prepare to step into a new reality. This old version of yourself is quite adept at survive. Al, I've witnessed its survival tactics not only in my clients and friends, but in my personal experiences as well as you inch closer to the life you envision, your old self starts fearing its eventual fading in a desperate bid to maintain relevance. It transfers its fears onto you, making you associate these fears with the very idea of progress. This often results in a paralyzing fear that prevents you from moving forward. It's crucial to see through these decepi eye tactics to truly transform, realizing how your former self uses fear to manipulate you, allows you to break free from old anxieties and confidently embrace a new beginning. This realization isn't just an end, but a continuous call to evolve and ascend beyond familiar limits, reaching for the vast potential that lies within your true spiritual purpose. Imagine the universe that resides within each of us, a reflection of the boundless cosmos itself. When fear takes hold, it isn't merely an isolated emotion— but a resonant vibration that magnifies your deepest anxieties through the various events in your life. This magnification is a reflection of a co complex cosmic dance filled with challenges, and learning our journey through life often includes navigating through toxic and damaging relationships. These relationships establish a certain internal frequency that develops over years of struggle and discomfort. This frequency strives to perpetuate itself by drawing similar scenarios toward you as you start to seek out healthier, more supportive relationships. This old frequency senses a threat and begins to destabilize this shaky frequency, then casts its fears onto you, urging you to act against your best interests and jobs, your potential for happiness and growth. This typically ERS, right? When you are on the cusp of a significant breakthrough, presenting you with unforeseen difficulties, this isn't merely happening stance. It's a direct confrontation between your former self and the new opportunities that lie ahead. Fear, therefore, is more than an emotion. It's a powerful signal that draws towards you. The very experiences you wish to avoid it compels you to remain stagnant, dismissing the call to ascend to higher states of being whenever you face opportunities for change or growth. Remember that the fear you feel isn't truly yours, but emanates from the outdated parts of you that cling to the past.
Breaking free from the cycle of fear involves understanding its nature, not as a sign of personal weakness, but as a common obstacle that everyone faces. You're encouraged to not only progress, but also to transform the energy that forms the foundation of your existence in doing this. You confront the very essence of reality, weaving a new destiny from threads of courage and insight. This is the start of a transformative journey where you release the past and embrace the new with a heightened sense of awareness. It's essential to pinpoint the origin of fear when anxiety surfaces. Recognizing its source is crucial. Understand that the fear you feel isn't inherently yours. It's influenced by outdated forces struggling to keep their hold with this realization. You can transcend and reshape your experiences, altering your spiritual engagement. Consider the wisdom of the ancient military strategist Sunu, who stressed the necessity of knowing both your cell, F and your adversary to triumph in any confrontation he taught that without this knowledge every victory could carry the seeds of future defeat. His teachings aren't only strategic, they carry a profound spiritual resonance, underscoring the perpetual conflict between our enlightened selves and the echoes of our old selves. Awareness of your historical limitations and tendencies equips you to confront and dispel emerging illusions. This insight is crucial for mastering the mental aspects of your enlightenment journey. Hold on to these, Teak. Hings as you face challenges they are indispensable for. Unveiling deeper spiritual truths and transforming fear into a tool for personal growth. As we conclude this exploration of transcending the old version of ourselves, we recognize that spiritual growth is not merely an outward journey, but a profound inward transformation we've delved into, how our past selves with their entrenched habits and restrictive mindsets act as barriers to our spiritual ascension. The continuous internal struggle between who we were and who we aspire to be is not just a baddie. Labute an opportunity for profound personal. Growth and realignment with universal truth, embracing the hermetic principles that remind us as within. So without we understand that our external reality is a direct reflection of our internal state. This insight compels us to probe deeper into our consciousness, ensuring that our thoughts and emotions are in harmony with the vibrations of the cosmos. True spirituality is not about superficial changes. It demands a complete metamorphosis of how we think, feel, and interact with the universe by mastery. Nung the art of thought forms and recognizing the impact of our mental and emotional patterns, we begin to see ourselves as architects of our reality. This process is intricate and sacred, requiring us to respect and nurture the energies we create and interact with daily. Now as you reflect on this journey, think about the old self. You are ready to transcend if this message resonates with you. Type Reborn in the comments below. As a declaration of your commitment to this transformative path, let this word be a symbol of your readiness to embrace a new phase O F spiritual enlightenment and personal growth. Remember the universe is not just something you are in. It is something you are a part of. Let's continue to shape it consciously and thoughtfully together.